Hi, I'm James from Clever Touch, the UK sales manager for Clever Live. Today I want to show you how to create a mobile interface. There's a couple of reasons why you might want to do this. One of them is you might want to give one of your users particular access to a few of the action buttons to ensure that they've got you know, fire alarm or cancel fire alarm or something like that on there, but only those buttons rather than the whole lot. The other option is you might want to create a QR interface where someone can scan it and then control the screens. Again, if you need further information on either of those, there are videos for them both. The first step to create a mobile interface is to go into the interfaces section at the top on Clever Live, go on to the mobile access port, and then from there, you can either create your own by pressing this button up at the top, or you can press the add button and that will take you into the gallery of templates, like any other Clever Live uh, interface. So I'm gonna click on that, press the add button up at the top, like I would normally, and then give it a name. I'm just gonna leave it as that. Again, this will import your branding, so if you put a logo and stuff in there, it will also import that through, which is really handy, it means you don't have to do that every time. So once that's imported through, we've then got op opportunities to edit that. As I said, you could do this from scratch. You could go on any other one of the suites of softwares and create your own background and drop the actions on top. This way, it's just a little bit easier. All you have to utilize is the templates within the, within the presentations itself. So I'm gonna let that import through, and then I'm just gonna click back up here to the uh, mobile access part, and that will take us into our area. We've got quite a few on here. Most of the time you wouldn't have this many. You will see MA001, which is the one I just added, sat there waiting for me. I press the same edit button that I would normally. You can see our logo has been automatically imported and we've got title text and stuff which we can of course edit in the normal way. But down the side you will see there are these elements that we can populate with different actions. That will just allow us to pick from a drop down. So bear in mind you will have had to create those actions beforehand. Once you've populated this with all of your actions, either you can attach that to a QR code by pressing up at the top here, and then you can make it public so that anybody can scan it, put it onto one of these presentations, gives you the opportunity to then put that interface down to a, a user, anyone walking down the street or any one of the particular individuals, and they can choose from a select number of presentations. Or alternatively, we can go into the users part down here, and we can press this button here on our, any of our users, and we can assign that particular mobile interface, wherever it is there, to those individual users so that when they log in on Clever Live on their mobile phone or their tablet, all they see are the buttons that we want rather than all of them. If you do need any more information or you want to have a demonstration of this, please let us know. Thank you.